Okay, here's a demonstration of how to use the configurations in the Q173 gate math module. Configurations are groups of programs for each of the four outputs. We have up to six from zero to five and they can be selected manually with the knob or with the control voltage input. With each of these configurations you have control over the programming of each output. Now when there's not a source, an external source of gates coming into the Q173, then this knob turns into an internal clock. So to use configurations, we need a source of external gates. And for this example, we'll just use a Q106 oscillator pulse output. So in this first position, configuration zero, we can program our outputs. Let's program these to divide by one. So all of these are divide by one. That's configuration one. And we go up here to configuration two, and we can set those to something else. Let's uh, set that to divide by four. All of them are divide by four. And so we can switch back and forth between the two configurations. Here's configuration zero, which is divide by ones and configuration number one, which is all divided by four. The factory defaults for configurations are set up, you can see these in the user guide. Uh, five happens to be set to all off, which is divide by zero. So that's all off. So we could go back here to configuration zero and we get our divide by ones and go to configure configuration 5, and now we're all off. So these configurations can be programmed to anything. For example, if we go over here to 1, we can program this configuration to divided by 3, divided by 4, divided by 5, and how about a random there? That's configuration 0. And we'll go to configuration 1, and we'll make that divide by 2, divide by 2.5, divide by 12, and let's pick a pattern here. So that's configuration number one is now programmed. So now we have two configurations. There's configuration zero, which has the random on the end and configuration one. Let's program configuration two. Let's go over here and make this a four-step sequence. Four. So configuration three is now a four-step sequence. You can see it one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And configuration zero is right where we had it. And again, configuration five in this programming is all off but it can be whatever you want. Now this can be controlled instead of with the knob with the control voltage input too. So you can cycle through that. Uh, a sequencer can control that or maybe an oscillator going or even a random source. So that's how configurations work. They're very powerful.